In this video, we're going to talk about what happens if someone who is pregnant gets COVID, how it affects the baby, and why the COVID vaccine is safe in pregnancy and actually recommended. What are the risks of being unvaccinated while pregnant? First, let's talk about what it means to get COVID during pregnancy. Getting COVID during pregnancy puts you and your baby at greater risk for major complications. Risks of COVID that we know are greater because of pregnancy include being admitted to the intensive care unit, being put on a ventilator or a breathing tube, a heart-lung machine, and even death. The overall risks are low, but they happen today to people who are not vaccinated. Vaccinated people can still get COVID, but they just don't get very sick in general. How much more is the risk of severe COVID because you're pregnant? If someone's not vaccinated and is infected with COVID during pregnancy, they're more likely to be admitted to an intensive care unit. In fact, that chance is six times greater than the chance of getting sick to that level if you're not pregnant. Getting intubated or placed on a ventilator is even worse, 14 times more likely, and the risk of dying is 15 times more likely compared to a similar person who catches COVID and isn't pregnant. This is entirely preventable. People who are vaccinated don't typically get severely ill. I often hear patients voice concerns about any kind of medication in pregnancy because they don't want to hurt the baby. That's good thinking to protect the baby where you can and should. But to think about how safe something is, please do two things. First, think about the risk that the disease that you're trying to prevent, in this case COVID, has on the baby. You need to weigh that risk against the risk of a medication or vaccine. Second, think about what we know about whether the medication or vaccine is safe. To answer all that in the case of COVID, keep in mind that the disease itself can hurt the baby in several ways. When moms get sick, so do babies. It's not good to be in utero when your mom's on a ventilator in the intensive care unit or when she has pneumonia with low oxygen levels. Babies of moms with COVID are much more likely to be born preterm or too early, four times more likely in fact. Preterm birth can have lifelong consequences including multiple possibilities like immature lungs, bleeding in the brain, asthma, eye problems, intestinal problems, behavioral problems, etc., depending on the degree of prematurity. Getting COVID in pregnancy also doubles the risk of low birth weight and gestational diabetes and quadruples the risk of preeclampsia or high blood pressure in pregnancy, which can be risky to both mom and baby. COVID also increases the risk for fetal death or a baby dying inside please get vaccinated. Is COVID vaccine safe? The COVID vaccine is safe in pregnancy and it will protect you from severe COVID disease. I hear some people worry that the COVID vaccine is new and worry a lot that there's not known about these vaccines. Well, that's just not true. The COVID vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. This type of vaccine has been around for a long time and it's been used safely in pregnancy. If you're still not comfortable, I'd ask you to ask yourself what type of information you're looking for to feel comfortable. Is it knowing what happens to moms and babies when they get the vaccines in pregnancy? Well, we now have that information. Does the vaccine increase the chances of miscarriage? Let's talk about miscarriage. Any pregnancy has the risk of ending in a miscarriage. Thousands of pregnant people who got the COVID vaccine were studied and their chances for miscarriage were not higher than the chances among people who didn't get the vaccine. That tells us that the vaccine doesn't cause miscarriage here. And in fact, COVID infection itself, which you're much more likely to get if you don't get the vaccine, can increase the risk for miscarriage. Thousands of vaccinated women have been monitored through vaccine surveillance systems like the Adverse Event Reporting System, a registry called vSafe, and the Vaccine Safety Data Link, among others. They haven't identified problems from getting the vaccine in pregnancy. If anything, these patients have had less COVID, so less risk of other bad things happening to their pregnancy. The antibodies, which are cells in the body that fight infection that vaccinated people make to protect against COVID, also pass through the placenta to the baby and can protect it after birth. These antibodies also pass into breast milk. Breastfeeding after getting a COVID vaccine also helps to prevent the baby from getting COVID infection. Side effects from the vaccine are similar to those seen in people who are not pregnant. 
Some people think that having had COVID is enough to protect them, but it's not enough. Getting the vaccine after having had COVID infection gives you better immune protection and getting vaccinated is still recommended after getting COVID. And booster doses are also recommended for people who are pregnant or recently pregnant. Getting really sick from COVID during pregnancy is preventable. I've taken care of some people with COVID pneumonia in pregnancy and they were extremely ill. Please, get your vaccine. And if you have any more questions about the COVID vaccine, please also talk to your provider. Thank you.